I am Dmitry Petrov. I am a creator of open source tool DVC or Data Version Control. Welcome to our course. Uh, we will be talking about uh, DVC, about uh, machine learning best practices, how to use uh, computational resources in the cloud, how to use CI, CD uh, for machine learning, and how to put all these pieces together in order to make you and your team uh, more productive and more organized while you're doing machine learning and AI models. We started working on DVC project around four years ago. At that time, it was absolutely clear that machine learning and AI is changing the way how we build software, how we create our applications. It was clear that we need best practices in machine learning modeling process. At the same time, we need the best practices how to connect result of our modeling process with, with the software, with the development process. And DVC and uh, some of our other tools like CML, CICD for machine learning, I aims to solve the gap, help you to be more productive, at the same time to collaborate efficiently with other teams. DVC is a core part of the course. However, you will learn that DVC is not only about data versioning or data transferring. You will learn that DVC is about machine learning experiment tracking and versioning. It's about uh, metrics and hyperparameter tracking. It's about ML pipelines. And it puts all of those together while data versioning and data transferring become the central part. So that's why it's data version control. The machine learning tools and best practices that you will learn in the course are based on two simple principles. First of all, they use the existing software development tool set that you probably familiar with, like a Git and a GitHub. And second principle is a cloud. The tools are using existing clouds or maybe on-premise hardware resources that you already have. The idea behind the tool is to connect the modeling experience when people create machine learning models with your software development experience, like how people build applications. Using Git and GitHub and other development tools as a foundation breaks the wall between your machine learning modeling experience and software development and coding experience. So those two worlds can work peacefully together. The best practices and the tools that you learn in the course will help you to be more efficient as a practitioner, and it will help your team to be more productive. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.